You don't have to be a parent, you don't have to be Indigenous to be utterly appalled by what you're about to see. Little children shackled together with cable ties, crying for water and their mother. <laughs> A tradesman is accused of restraining those kids when he found them swimming in a neighbour's pool. Yes, they weren't allowed to be there. They were trespassing. But their mother wants you to see their faces and know their names. This is Stuart. And this is his little sister, Margaret. Look at those faces. They're little kids wanting to cool down on a hot day in Broome. The children's mother, Rowena, joins me now. Rowena, these are your babies. Your little girl is six, your little boy is seven, in tears with their hands tied. Uh, very sad to see my children tied up like that, yeah. How are the kids today? My, my boy had a dream last night, like, so I hold him at night in his sleep, yeah. Should not happen to any children, you know, it's... For each, um, my girl is only six, my son is seven. When you were cuddling your son last night as he had what sounds like a nightmare, what did you say to him? I just said, oh, um, mum, mum's here. You all right, just go back to sleep. Because either, either one was that was tight, was tight, tight. Because he had a bit of um, blood or a bit of scratch on his right side of his hand. How do you feel about what happened? I was like in a fright when I first walked in because all I asked for the the male to um, actually just can you please let my children go and we can wait for the police to attend. I was yeah sad and upset really emotion. I was afraid of him as well because He's very big, he's a big male, you know, yeah. And so I stand behind a fence where he kept my children still in the yard. And, yeah. You okay? Because you were metres away from your kids and they're crying for their mum and they're really terrified and you can't help them in that moment. I had um, a bit of tears coming down, um, yeah. I've got tears right now thinking about mm. it, Rowena. It's a, it's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, by standing behind the fence and seeing my children like that tied up, it was emotion like, what can I do? You know, we just have to wait for the police. He had no feeling or anything of my children crying there. And my, one of my the son, the boy, he was crying for water. So crying at me for a water and I couldn't even get him a water. Okay. Mm. I, I can see it in your face, Rowena, how much this is impacting you. So as you said, this only happened yesterday and it was the neighbour, Leandra, who you know, um, who started filming it because he'd caught the kids swimming in the pool. What did you say to your kids, Rowena, to try and keep them calm? Uh, just wait. We have to wait for the police, but didn't even know the male, the fellow that held my children behind the gate, wasn't his property. This is my property, he was saying. I said, well, they're my children. I'm a mother standing here. Would you able to undo my children, please? We used menace too. We said, please. I said, please. Would you able to let my children come to me and we'll wait for the cops to arrive? He was like, no. How do you feel about the man who allegedly did this to little kids and ignored your pleas and theirs to cut the t cable ties? Well, we asked him, have you got any children? He said, yes. So we said, you know, if you wouldn't like if anyone does that to your children, because no one wouldn't like it, you know? Rowena, is there any part of you that can understand why he did what he did. He claims that the kids have done this six times before broken in and swum in the pool and that the backyard was damaged. Really, you should not do it to a, 
a six and a seven and an eight year old. They are small children. They are under 18 and they are little. They only went for a swim. Rowena, I can't imagine what I would have done in a similar situation if they had been my kids. I, I, I don't know. And these aren't 14 or 15 year old kids breaking into a, someone's house. These, as you say, these are really young kids having a swim on a hot day and sure they were absolutely not meant to be there but what do you make of the man's reaction? This Grace, how can you treat a little children like that? Come on. So this was yesterday afternoon. Um, where, where were the kids supposed to be? Well I thought they was down the road because they usually play down the road. So you think the kids are playing down the street together and then someone comes in, a, a little 10-year-old boy comes in and tells you this is all going on. My goodness, you've gone through a lot in the last 24 hours, haven't you? Yeah, I am very angry. Like, angry and sad, like, mm, the emotion of being in the two situation, yeah, like, angry and sad. I said no one wants to see strangers whether they're, they're kids or adults in your backyard but the force used to restrain young children was way out of proportion. I mean I can't believe in today's society it happened. Can you? I can't believe it. Well if it was the other way around, if an Aboriginal man was holding three white children like that and saying to the families, oh, you just wait till the cops come. So yeah, if he goes to court, the Aboriginal man I'm talking about, if he goes to court, he would have been gone. They would not even let him out of prison. He would have stayed in prison. They would not even give him a bail. They would have put him up maybe for kidnapping because that's what I, I am, feeling as a mother, I was standing there at the fence thinking, oh, what this man holding my children? Like, you know? Well, shackling any child, but when it is Indigenous kids, considering this country's history, I mean, I thought we had learnt some lessons. I, I really appreciate your time, Rowena, and I really hope your kids are okay. Yeah.